All right, well, I finally got my distributor drive. So that looks like this. And I got the two shims here. There's also another little spring that goes in the top there, but uh, I don't know exactly where that is, but I will locate it. So that's gonna go up in here. So I wanted to show that. First, I'm gonna take the two uh, shims. I took out the crank in the, um, I uh, took out the crank in the camshaft. I'm gonna put these in here, just dry, two shims. And then I'm going to take this distributor drive and just initially just put it in here dry. And get it seated back here. I can. See if I can show this a little better. So it's going in here. Get the shims onto the distributor drive here first. Get that in there. Okay, that looks good. Perfect. Okay, so you're supposed to check the end play on this. I only really have two shims. So, you know, it spins well. And so I'm just going with that. So, um, I'm going to go grab the distributor as well and go ahead and install that. All right, so I got the uh, distributor drive shaft in there here. And I have the two shims. And it's spinning nicely. And then... Uh, what I'm trying to do now is go ahead and get the um, distributor itself in there. So it has the O-ring on there. And here's my new billet um, clamp. So get this guy in there. And let's see what I have to do to get it to line up. That's in there. Now it should be spinning it. There we go. You can see that. If I if I spin this, it spins that. So now the trick is I have number one top dead center. Number one is let's see if this is the top. Number one is this cylinder here. Let's see. So the number one cylinder is this one coming out here, this way. So what I need to do is make that one top dead center while this is pointed roughly in this location here. And that will get my distributor timing correct. All right, so we put the crank back in. Let's see. This is going down. This one's going up. All right. Try to get these dowel pins roughly lined up. Let's see how the camera's looking here. I'm gonna bring it over on this side. So it's a little bit messy to have to do the distributor drive afterwards. I had everything all perfectly lined up. Here's my dowel pin, dowel pin. I had everything all lubed up and everything, so let's just jump in the gun here. And there it is on 
that one, and that one. Now I just have to turn this thrust bearing. right there okay that's seated this one's seated let's see about this one so it's turning nicely and the distributor's turning. Let's just take a look and make sure that it is seated here in my, with my dowel pins. This all appears okay, but the way to check it is with the, the other bearing here. Pop it out. in my the case half which is I have to pop it out here. There we go. Alright, so if I put this on here and it doesn't rock at all, which it doesn't, that means it's perfectly seated. Okay, perfect. I'll put this back in the case. I'm all ready to pop that together. Okay, bearings in. Now, let's put the camshaft back in. So, I'll check for my dots. There we go. So, dots. There they are. And this guy up. Find my dot. Too bad I'm getting junk on this thing. Where is the dot? Here it is. A little assembly lube in it was hiding it. So dot in between the other dots. Pop this camshaft in. All right, that is in. And we'll just check the dots again. That is one thing you have to be absolutely certain of. dot one thing I notice on straight cut cam gear is that there's no side load so it just seems to turn spin really nicely really there's the dots Let me look really closely at this. And it is. The dot is not in between the other dots. See here? Let's see. Set this up here. Look directly at the dots. Okay, so I'm going to pull this thing out. Find the dot. There it is. Okay, now it's in there. That should be. So let's look again really closely here.
And there I've got the dot in between the dots. So let's just look very, very closely here. Yep. Perfect. All right.